My life's been a series of dances. Here are a few. The men mambo. Mean men turn me on. Kind men bore me. Sleeping with a guy in college just because he looks like Jackson Brown. <laughs> At 20, just like my mom, I am a pregnant girl woman. The dad is Frankie, a 35-year-old ex-con bike messenger, but I am a baby myself. Abortion at 21. And then, at age 24, I meet him. He's a brilliant but depressed, sloth-like stand-up comic. <laughs> we are not a natural match, so we make an important decision. We get married. <laughs> the marriage merengue. Our dance is an awkward one, and we never really find our rhythm, so again, we do what anyone in our position would do. We have a baby. <laughs> we were married for 14 long years. And then my dear friend Judy dies, and I wake up. The single mom mumbo. <laughs> After dating a series of Mr. Wrongs, I meet a spectacular. We fall deeply in love and have been waltzing our way through life together ever since. We will be married eight years this June. Yeah. Oh, except then this happens. <laughs> Cancer dance. July 20th of last year, I am diagnosed with stage one pancreatic. What the f***? I don't even know where my pancreas is. <laughs> and the dance partners change position. My husband and my son become my mommies. My 19-year-old kisses my kepi and learns how to throw out the trash. <laughs> the Irish surgeon with the kind eyes cuts my belly wide open and removes the tumor. I get better. <laughs> I had my last chemo six days ago. My wise belly, the same one I tried to flatten into submission in my 20s. The same belly that carried my beautiful boy in my mid-30s. The belly I finally embraced and learned to love in my 40s. Now, here I am, 55 years young, alive, and oh so well. I realize the universe has given me just enough cancer to transform my life. Not enough to kill me. And the dance continues. Thank you.